Ty Block's effort was outstanding. Let's we'll talk about that. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's been really good lately. You know, about a month ago, we just had an opportunity to talk to him and things. We put away too much pressure on himself. And I said, Ty, you know, that's not who you are. You're a guy that enjoys the game. Play like you did when you were a freshman and sophomore. Just enjoy the game. You know, I, it, sometimes these juniors get so hung up on you know, the draft and, and they get phone calls and they get attention and they get distracted. And, and I give Ty a lot of credit because he, he let that other part go for the last month. He's been as good, good as any pitcher that you can have. And for what he did against a very good offensive club today in Indiana State, that's not an easy task. And he dominated. Have you ever seen him scale? Probably not. I mean, I mean, he threw a lot of fastballs today too. And, you know, these kids, I'm sure Indiana State prides itself in being able, to, you know, get to anybody's fastball. And I just heard he ended the game with that strikeout on a 92 run. At the end of the game, here's a kid coming on short rest, but the adrenaline was there today. The importance was there today. Um, and we've been talking about this conference tournament for a long time. Ty knew that he was going to get the shot on Tuesday, and uh, he certainly did his part. Going to complete game, how much, how big is that? Didn't have to use an arm. Well, we've been talking for a long time about how tired a bullpen is, and you know to have another day off, another you know 24 or 30 hours off before they have to you know get involved in the game tomorrow. I think we'll see the, the results of that tomorrow. You'll see much fresher guys coming out of the pen. Hey, can you talk about the approach against Sean and I also pitching on? Well, you sure. know, he's a good pitcher. There's no doubt about it. I mean, he, he, he uh, shut us down in Omaha for nine plus innings, I believe. We saw him there a month ago. But um, we talked at a club last night about, you know, the fact that he pitched on Friday. And granted, he only pitched 76 pitches on Friday. That's a short turnaround for a college player. And he was very sharp early. But if our hitters stayed the course, they would get an opportunity. He kind of lost his control a little bit there in the third or fourth inning where we bust through and get him out. Uh, but we had to get his fastball down. And we didn't do a very good job of that in the first inning. We swing through some pitches that were above our hands. But our, our whole approach was to get him below our hands, get him down, and to stay aggressive. Because we've been a little bit better offensively here now for the last several weeks. You juggled the lineup a little bit today. Which, uh, what was your reasoning on that? Well, I wanted to get, uh, I didn't want to get my lefties bunched up too much in the middle, so if they went to the bullpen, they got a pretty good left-handed guy on the bullpen. Hostetler, and I didn't want him involved with Nick and Anthony back-to-back. -back. Chances have probably been swinging a bat as well as anybody in our club. Nick hit two hole last year and did a tremendous job in that spot. So a lot of those factors came in when I when I juggled the line. Brad's hit lead off before. Uh, but I just basically, I wanted Nick and Anthony not to be back to back. So if Coach Heller went to his bullpen, he'd have to think twice about letting a left-hander uh, try to pitch to a chance in that three. I credited the defense. You pride yourself on defense. Uh, just talk a little bit about that today. Well, they were good today. I played by Chance Ross, diving to the line. This is a good play as a third base we could make. We made some real solid plays on Alex and Short. Jake at second. Um, sometimes I wonder during the course of the year why we spend as much time defensively as we do because it, it, it wasn't working out. We weren't scoring enough runs. But today I think drove the point home to me that our style of play is suited for tournament baseball. This is why you play defense. This is why you pitch. So you get in games like this and you can scratch enough across that way. Because rarely in tournament baseball you're going to get into a 10-9, 9-7 type of game. I guess talk about where this puts you big picture-wise. Well, tomorrow's game is a real big one. I'm sure, you know, uh, Illinois State, uh, I told the Illinois State coach when he was in town to play us that I, I thought they were as good an offensive team as it was in our league. He proved that today by scoring a lot of runs in the first game against Evansville. We had a really good battle against them in Omaha where we played 15 innings. So I think tomorrow's going to be a great game at 4 o'clock. I think it's not. That second game in a tournament situation like this, very important. Liska, for sure. Liska, for sure.